Hello amazing people, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Pastor Faith Oita Iriko and I am the resident pastor of New Nation Missionary Church, Nazarawa. I want to encourage you to subscribe, turn on the notification bell because more spirit capsules, content will be coming your way that will edify your spirit and your soul. Alright, so on today's edition, I will be talking about how I balance motherhood and being a CEO. A lot of persons have asked me, Pastor Faith, how do you cope? How do you balance being a CEO and a mother? I want to tell you that it is not convenient at all. It is it's not easy but one of the things that have kept me going is principles and principles make your life predictable being a mother is not easy being a CEO is not easy but of course if you do what is easy your life will be hard but when you do what is hard your life will be easy it's better you pay the price now and play later because if you don't you will pay the price later because you play now so principles has been one of the things that has helped me through my journey of motherhood and of course being a CEO I don't joke with principles now I would like you to understand that if you are willing to abandon your principles for convenience, then there were never principles in the first place. They were only costumes. If you are come what may stick to your principles, stick to what works for you. I call principles my culture for success. I call principles my route to success. So one of the principles that I have adhered to strictly throughout this journey is what? Don't joke with priorities. I have itemized things that are topmost in my school of priority and those are the things that I give my attention to. Now of course being a mother is one thing I won't trade anything for and being a CEO because I see business as not a platform to make money but a platform to dispense value so I am committed to it. Now what has really helped me build a balance between the two is what my knowledge, my mindset. Now, my mindset has helped me create a to-do list. My day does not start when I wake up from my bed. My day starts in the previous day. Now, as I'm petting baby Josh, that's the name of my child, my son. As I'm petting him in the evening, preparing his meal, trying to dress him up, I'm already thinking about what I'm, I'm supposed to do the next day. I live ahead of myself. I don't wait to catch up. Rather, let the world catch up with me. So, my to-do list is automatically in my head. It is not just scripted in my notepad or in my phone. But it is what's scripted in my mind. So I already know that so so and so person placed order for shoes to be made because I'm a shoe maker and designer. So so person is coming to pick up. I'm supposed to talk to my PA. I'm supposed to, I'm supposed to give instructions to the producers. I'm supposed to do this. I'm supposed to do that. So all of these things are saved in my head. So while I'm baiting baby Joshua, I am thinking, thank God, God has given women the grace to multitask. So use it to your advantage. Unlike men, if a man is set to do a particular thing, he can't do anything else apart from that thing. But a woman can do multiple things at the same time and even get desired results for the things that she has channeled her energy into. So that has really helped me. So as I'm baiting baby church, I am multitasking already. My hands are baiting, my mind is calculating. I'm really setting the things I want to do. Now, I move those things from my thought into a written format. I write it in my notes pad, I write it in my notes so I don't forget anyone. So as I'm waking up in the morning, after my morning routine, talking to God, preparing my bed, I already jump into motherhood. Now, I bait baby Josh, feed him, I go to the kitchen trying to prepare food for my husband and as many persons that stay with us because we have people living with us. And I, and I go straight to call my PA. I give her instructions. Now, do this and do that. Tell this to this tell this to this you know i do that i am very calculative in fact my business gained more patronage after i gave birth. let me shock you do you know that the day i gave birth to my baby lying down on that hospital bed i was chatting with the clients i mean when she saw my post that i just put to bed she was shocked and she said who are you i said the kind of woman that desires wild influence relevance exploit and success that's what she asked me. She said, who are you? I said, I am the kind of woman that desired relevance, desired success, desired impact, desires exploit, and I'm ready to pay every price to ensure that. So when she now saw, she was the one that now told me, oh, don't worry, please, let's just hold on for our, um, hold on on this business um, transaction for now until for that days. And I said, okay, that's fine. Otherwise, I was reading and I had that strength because I am already thirsty for success. And I understand that as long as you want to journey down the route of success, if you want to be an achiever, then you must delete convenience from your mind. Not, nothing that will stand the test of time is bettered out of convenience. So you need to understand that. Of course, during the night hours, you all know, or if you are privileged to be with someone who just delivered, the mother hardly sleeps because the baby is always waking up to suck and all of that. For every interval that I wake up to feed or breastfeed baby Josh, I'm praying. I'm calculating, I'm thinking ahead of myself. I don't joke with my plans. I don't, that's why I tell you that. Be, 
be be invigorated about your principles. Your principles should not be affected by circumstances. If your principles can be affected by your circumstances, then they were never principles in the first place. So let your principles be instant, in and out of season. Whether you are in Dubai today or you are in Kenya tomorrow, do what needs to be done. And one of the things that helped me is that I have set, I have set structures ahead of myself. My business can exist without me. My business can run without me. My business is not a sole proprietorship enterprise. It is a partnership. I, I have made it uh, um, 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 I've structured it in such a way that it can run without me. So I have, I have laid down rules. Everybody in the company understands a role to play. The person that supplies the material, the person that goes pick up, the person that produces, the person that weighs, the person that takes orders, the person that markets, and all of that. And that's how it is. As a mother, I do the same thing. Oh, baby, Josh would. In fact, there are some times that well, we were supposed to go out. We were to go out 10 a.m. the next day. That night. I placed his, his clothes on the bed, his shoes, his everything, his diapers, everything. I arranged them. I arranged my own. I arranged that of my husband. I am that meticulous. Then the next morning, I am not waking up to start thinking of what to do. I am jumping into implementation. So that's why I say you need to live ahead of yourself if you must achieve goals. Because let me tell you, you will never be less busy than you are right now. Because the more you climb the ladder of success, the more encompassing activities will be. Right now, I was even talking to a friend of mine that 24 hours is barely enough. It's barely enough for me. So I have to really catch up. And my business has to go. I have more than 150 wholesalers. I am attending to them. I have two WhatsApp, different messages. I'm a pastor. This one is calling calling for my attention. This one needs me. I'm a mother. My son needs me. As a wife, my husband needs me. As a neighbor, my neighbors needs me. Everybody is calling for my attention. I have to map out strategic plans that will not leave any stone unturned. Because I want to be an unprecedented woman. I want to be an Amazon. I want to be a woman on the go. So this is how I balance being a mother and being a CEO is this effortless if you structure and if you plan your schedule don't just leave yourself to chance don't just like as I am now you can't just bump into my house you can't just barge into my house you can't visit me because you feel like if you visit me when I have a routine I have a book to write I have something to do you are trying to cheap or slash my time which i won't give you so everything about myself is true it planned if you want to sell me you have to inform me so i factor you into my plan because i am a woman on an assignment i am going somewhere so another thing that's helped me aside principle is time management what do you do with your time allocate time for everything and don't just set goals that are not realistic set goals that are achievable make sure as you are setting those goals you are strict in manifesting and you are strict in compliance to, that, to those goals you have set so make sure that you, you you can give account for every 10 minutes of your time that you spend. Invest your time in white things. I go online, I do the marketing, I check on things, I, I upgrade myself. I am always seeking for ways to improve myself. How do I do that? As soon as the baby sleeps, I am off to studying. As soon as he sleeps, I am off to reading. As soon as he sleeps, I am off to doing something. I don't just go on social media and start scrolling and liking people's posts. No, we do the posting. Let the less busy ones do most of the likings. Because if you don't post on social media, there will definitely be things for you to read. So don't just like other people's posts. Also, disseminate value, all right? Invest in your time. God's servant daddy, Bishop Edipo, he said something. He said, why others watch news? We create the news. And the moment I heard that, it resonated with me. I told myself, I will not just watch news, but I will create news. So if you want to really create news, you have to do the um, the inexplicable. You have to be spontaneous. It will not be easy, but... You it is worth it. That it is not easy does not make it impossible. If your heart is dear, then you can do it. God will bring the ways. So just start set your heart. And, and that thing that helps me also is consistency. I am instant in and out of season. If you do something, if you carry out a routine for a very long period of time, you will know that um, it will get into you. It will fuse into your subconscious. So you know, as you're waking up, you have a baby to beat. As you're waking up, you have a child to breastfeed. As you're waking up, you have business to attend to. As you're waking up, you have delivery orders. As you're waking up, you have... I even have a POS outlet. I have a lot of streams of income, multiple streams of income, yes. So this one is calling for my attention. This one is calling for my attention. But because these are things I do consistently, I don't get confused. I don't get overwhelmed because they are worked in me my subconscious already understands that at this time of the day i am to do this at this time of the day i am to do that like currently for an example now my son is sleeping and i'm here recording this to bless someone so you make use of your time when your child sleeps as a mother you start time to do a lot of things don't say well because i'm not seeing mother let me just be there no there is so much you can do the world will know is for you the world will know is for you so you have to develop schemes and ways on how you can catch up and keep blessing lives all right so i'm going to share more um I'm going to share further knowledge in our 
um in some of our episodes that will come your way do fail to subscribe the next thing i'm going to talk about is how i balance ministry and motherhood i mean it's going to be it, it's, it's one topic you are surely looking forward to there's so much i want to tell you there's so much i want to teach especially people that are looking up to me how you can balance the two spontaneously i remember when i was in school i was in business i was also in ministry and i still carried my family along and none of these stones suffered attention i gave attention to every aspect of my life i didn't give the devil any chance to sow any weed in my family arts i cultivated it well so i'm going to teach you what really led to that kind of success all right so subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the notification bell and make sure you share this video to at least 10 persons